Alright, if you have this and you want this, you're going to need this. And this is an XDR driver for your hub. The cassette I have on here currently is an Altegra 11 speed cassette. XDR cassettes are obviously 12 speed and they have a different free hub driver because they use the XDR setup versus the older school Shimano HG setup. Allows them to run a couple different gear ratios and stuff like that. Uh, I have another video coming up about that for, for SRAM Force ASX drivetrains. Uh, look for that coming in the near future. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go over how to replace the free hub body on this Hope RS4 hub to go from an HD free hub body to the XDR free hub body. It's really not that hard to do. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is take the current free hub body off. In order to do that, you probably want to have the cassette on here because these cassettes, or these free hub bodies have a pretty tight ring that goes around them. That is their seal. This ring is quite tight in the hub and it takes quite a bit of force pulling up on it to pull it off. So it's just much easier to have a cassette body, uh, a cassette on the free hub body already to uh, start the process. In order to do that, you're gonna need a chain whip, a cassette lock ring tool, and a tool to turn the cassette lock ring tool. Let me grab this real quick. Bam, just like that, they're all in your hand. What you wanna do is you get the cassette, lock ring tool, chain whip on, Let's loosen up to the point where you're gonna be able to get this off by hand. So, yeah, that's a little too far. Get this back off. Thread this back in a little bit. Sounds ridiculous, but trust me, you're gonna want this cassette on here to uh, remove this free hub body from the hub. Remove the chain tool. Those tools down. And pop off the current free hub body. Should come out pretty easy. You make your hands nice and dirty because you have your cassette on, obviously. But no worries about that because we clean our hands. Take this off because you're gonna need the uh, the actual end cap that's trapped behind here right now. Put that down for now. Realize you forgot one other thing. Magically, I'll go get it. Bam! Just like that, I got it. Some grease for the free hub body after we clean it up real quick. So while you're in here, you should always clean your free hub body inside. Make sure you get all the extra dirt out. So the stuff I've been using is a super slick grease from Rock and Roll Lubes. Um, it's been pretty good. Uh, it seems to make the free hub quite quiet uh, and quite slippery, which is two very good qualities. Also, it being grease, it should stay in place a little bit better. So get a gob of it on your finger, smear it around the inside. You don't want to get too, too much in there though. As it'll actually clog up the works. Put it down. Extra grease off the finger. Take the new free hub body. So some of you see these, you know, people just put free hub bodies on real quick. So the best thing to do is actually put it on real quick, just like they do, but turn it to engage the free hub and actually allow it to sink down. Now here's the real bugger with these. On the Hope hubs, this is a green ring, it's really hard to get to go into the hub. So I've actually, because I've a bunch of these hubs, I've actually bought the seal tool. You can actually use a blunt object, uh, like the back end of a screwdriver or something like that, and you can actually just kind of work it all the way in and around. It's a real pain in the butt, don't get me wrong, but if you're only gonna do it once or twice, uh, it's not really worth buying the seal tool. So. I got the seal tool. 
I'm going to use the seal tool because it makes life easier. Um, like I said, you can do it with the blunt object and uh, just go to town. Make sure it spins nice and smoothly because I've actually had it where the ring wasn't actually quite all in the prehub body after all this. Put that in. Take your axle end cap. You slide that on and you're good to go. So after you put it on here, you install your XDR free hub body of choice. Uh, there's a bunch of different sizes. I actually am using uh, one road cassette, which is the 1033, and the gravel slash wide cassette, which is the 1036, depending on my road wheels. For this, the rest of gonna have the road cassette or my gravel wheels, my other set on my bike. Um, yeah, so XDR cassettes, just like regular XD cassettes, makes cassette changes very easy. You just put the tool on, you crank them on, you crank them off. It's like almost impossible to cross thread them. Not saying it is impossible, you know, still take your time, still make sure you're doing it right, but it makes life easier. You're not having to line up all the cogs. You can't dig into the free hub body because the XD slash XDR setup is designed to counteract that. Thanks for watching. Just ride.